Oh, hey guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show, and I'm back with you with another 3D print video. We're gonna go over a design that I designed on Tinkercad and printed up on my 3D printers here in order to make a smart home device more useful. And I'm gonna share it with you today, share with you the 3D print designs and all the materials needed to go ahead and actually put this thing together and use it with a flick to button. And I'm using actually two of these buttons. They come in a kit of three and also a three pack with hub. If you don't have the hub, you'll need the flick hub. I'll go over how to actually use the flick to button with Alexa routines later on in the video. But first I wanna share my design with you and I designed it on Tinkercad. So I'll come back to you after we look at my design. Stick around, we'll be right back. All right, and we're back, and this design works with the Flick 2 button. I designed it because the buttons are really tiny, round little tiny things. They do have an adhesive back if you peel off the sticker off the back, the back covering, and you could stick to pretty much anything. I do have a couple stuck to my end table in my uh, theater room that I use for quick access to uh, turn my home theater screen up or down and lights on and off and security cameras on or off. Or change views so this uh, other device that I designed to go with the flick two buttons is a 3d print design wall mount magnetic this is the uh, design right here it's a two-piece with a uh, flick fob it fits two of the flick two buttons in there and a wall mount the two screws These are just standard sheetrock screws. Once you screw in your wall mount like that into the wall, you'll have your flick buttons right here with magnetics in the back. And it just sticks right there to the wall anytime you need it. If you come into that room, grab it off the wall and you can use it for your home theater or lights or scenes anywhere in your room or house and then always return it back to the wall sticks just like that. You'll always have this thing handy and at your disposal. I also made it uh, also a keychain. So you could carry it around, put a keychain loop right in there. I'll show you. So here it is, your flick two fob with your car keychain right here. So now you could use this as your gate and garage door opener. It's up to you what you want to program these flick two buttons to operate or if you want to use it as a keychain. And now let's see if it sticks. I'm, I haven't tested it yet, the magnets, with any weight on it, like a keychain. We'll try it out. It still works. Works perfect, and it's strong, guys. So you come in, place this right inside your entry door, garage entry door, whatever. Come in with your keys, stick that on there, and you got it for next time. Check this out. Use it in your kitchen. Put it on your refrigerator it's magnetic any metal surface that's uh, a magnet will stick to this key fob your 3d printed key fob will stick to now if you didn't want to store it right here we've got another spot remember we have the wall mount which i conveniently mounted right here to the wall next to the other switches right here and i actually made a label for what the uh, top button is and the bottom button is right there top buttons for the shelf lights bottoms for the kitchen lights and let's just see i've already got them programmed let's test them out i'm going to hit the kitchen lights off by a long press on the bottom button there they go a little bit of delay there all right let's turn on the the shelf lights up there one press of the top flick button. Nice. Store it in its spot. We're good to go. Next time we have to take a drive, our car keys are there. 
We can reprogram the buttons to our entry gate and garage if we want to. Any way you want to use this, guys, it's good to go. Uh, let's take a look at how we actually put this thing together. I'm going to take you back to the studio bench and I'm going to show you how you just assemble this to get it working. All right, we're back in the 3D studio and we're going to go ahead and assemble this flick two button key fob holder. The plate needs no magnets in it because the magnets just stick to your uh, sheetrock screws right here. These are the sheetrock screws I got. These are standard size sheetrock screws. I'm gonna leave the links to all these other additional things like the screws, magnets, stuff like that that you might need for this project, all in the description below, as well as the link to the flick two buttons in the description below. So we're gonna go ahead and use these rectangle magnets that I purchased here off Amazon. This is a whole stack of them. Comes in a package of 30. So we're gonna use two of them right here on this project. I'm gonna take two off, separate them. I just wanna stick them to the, uh, to the screw, make sure I got the magnet side right. Take that off. And I'm gonna take our fob here, key fob or flick two fob, whatever you wanna call it. And I made a slot in the side there and it's a triangular slot that gets slimmer as you push it in to where it's gonna be in the back of this whole slot here. So I'm gonna push that magnet in. And remember, it's a 3D print. So this is a little rough because I did this as a draft design, a quick, uh, you know, to see if it worked. So I'm pushing it in there. You can take a screwdriver to push it the rest of the way all the way through to the other side there a little bit until it hits the back of that hole. Now we got one more to do. Put it into the bottom hole slot. Push that in. Take your screwdriver, push it the rest of the way in. All the way through to the end of the hole. That's it, there's your key fob here. Now your buttons, they just fit in. You don't even have to take the sticky part out. I made them tight enough so that you don't have to stick them in there with adhesive in case you need to take these out to change your batteries. So just try to line up the lettering here or I think they come with, uh, well, this kit didn't have them, but I think you can order separate decals for symbols of a light bulb or whatever, but I don't have those decals. That's why I use my label maker. Okay, it actually fits in there. The magnet actually secures it. It sucks it in just like that. Now this is my third button, so I don't have a second one to show you, but let's just try this out. Make sure it's operational and hold the screws in there. Nice click. It's nice and secure. So that's how you assemble it. Those are the few simple products that you need. A couple magnets and a couple screws. Screw this plate into the wall wherever you like. Make sure it's level. You might want to have a level with you so you don't have a crooked uh, wall plate. So that's it. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and go over the flick button app and how to add a flick button and connect it to an Alexa routine. And then we'll be done. Stay tuned. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. I did make a way to uh, push the button out in case you need to get it out easy. You know, you can't get your finger uh, nails in there to grab it. There, that's why I made this uh, hole round and the magnet rectangle, you can fit a paper clip in there and just push that out and get the flick button out, change your battery, and then put it right back together just like that. Also, I made a, another hole in the other sides here. If you wanted to push this magnet, get this magnet back out for any reason at all, I don't know why, but you could stick a paper clip in that hole and push the magnet out. All right, now we're gonna go over how to add a Flick button to the Flick app and then create a routine really quick in Alexa to make that button work. 
So we're going to go ahead and open up our Flick app right here. Open Flick app. Now you're going to need the Flick Hub, like I already stated. The Flick Hub I already have connected. And we're going to connect this third Flick button I had in the package. This is not connected yet. So I'm going to tap my Flick Hub, go into that. And that opens all of the current Flick buttons that I have programmed to the Hub. And at the bottom right, you'll see Add Flick to Hub. So we're going to add this Flick to the Hub. Press the plus button there. Press and hold your Flick until it connects. No longer than 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. It's already connecting within five seconds. All right, what is my name? I'm just going to name this test. Test flick for now. And select done and done again. And finish. Press the finish button. And it's at the top left corner, our test flick button. I'm going to go ahead and press into that. And then here's where you got your click, double click, or hold. So you got three different scenes or commands that you can do operate with one button. So I'm going to select the click right now, the first one click button, and I'm going to select uh, an action is going to be, it's going to trigger an Alexa routine in our case. You can have it trigger all of these different uh, product uh, smart things if you want. Mainly I use all my smart devices with my Alexa hub in my household. So I'm going to select Alexa and save action and see it drops down. There's an Alexa trigger attached to a one click now. So we want to do that with the other two. Select Alexa, save action, and on the hold, select election, save action. So we've got Alexa, Alexa triggers now assign all three of them to the three clicks of this button. So I'm going to go ahead and go out of here, back button and back again, and back again. Now I'm gonna open up our Alexa app right here. And the first thing I wanna do, just to make sure I'm gonna select devices, and I just wanna go into discover devices here. I'm gonna select view, and I just wanna see if that automatically added. Yes, it did. It's that quick, guys. See this test, flick, click, test, flick, double click, and test, flick, hold. So those are your three commands now that we can assign routines in. So I'm going to uh, select test, flick, click right here. Select that and go into it. And there it is. It's uh, flick by shortcut labs. So this is it right here. And we're going to go ahead. Now we know we can create a routine. Alexa, I'm going to select back button now, top left. And I'm going to select more within the Alexa app still at the bottom right corner and select routines about halfway down. And I'm going to select the plus sign at the top right and enter routine name. We're going to say test office lights. Next. I'll just connect them to my smart office lights here and we'll test it out. When this happens, select plus and select smart home for smart home device. We're going to select and we're going to say, we're looking for a flick test flick, one click when test flick click is pressed. That's what we want. Save anytime we press this, we don't want it to do anytime. And then we're going to add an action, select the plus next to add action. And we're going to do another smart home thing, select smart home. And we're going to, I'm going to select all devices and I'm going to select office. Let's see. Office lights, select that power and select off. You could select on or off, or you can make the one click maybe on or two clicks off. 
or long hold off, whatever you want to do, however you want to sign the clicks. We're going to just test this out by making this off and select next and select save at the top right. And that should be our routine. Yeah, routine created successfully. So let's try it out. Try our flick button out. I'm going to press it one time. Let me point you up to the office lights. It's going to be the little one there. One click. It works guys guys it works so I hope that and up uh, explains everything to you on this project introduces you to the flick buttons for your home for your smart home and also hope you like my 3d design print key fob for the flick buttons thank you for tuning in guys and I'll see you on the next video